What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video and in today's video guys we're going to be going over the weekly schedule in Grand Cross and what to do on every single day of the week. So let's get into the video. So before we actually hop into the video, make sure to subscribe to your boy Amazing, we are on the road to 25k subscribers man. At the time of recording this video, I'm at 20,350 subscribers on the YouTube channel man. You guys have been showing a ton of support lately man, 650 away from 21,000 subscribers. So let's hop into the video and talk about the event weekly schedule. Alright, so in Grand Cross, uh, every single day there's going to be a different um, type of event going on that you guys just might not know about in general, right? Um, so what you want to do, go to these little like three lines here, like right under the 7 Daily Sense X Tensura event. And what you want to do is you want to go to, I think it's notices. Yeah, yeah, notices. So right here is going to be the weekly event schedule. And you're just going to click on the uh, little like calendar uh, button right there. And this is going to show you basically everything like per day of the week. Um, that's gonna be out in terms of uh, you know events. So when it says event info, and it just says boss battle and deathmatch, and it doesn't show like anything else. This means that it's a daily event. So uh, like as an example, today is Sunday, so we have fifty percent for Solgris stamina discount, PVP, um, you know deathmatch, deathmatch fifty percent stamina discount every single week or every other week. So if I go to my quest now. And I go to my daily quest, you guys can see we have the PvP one, we have the Fort Soldier's Clearing one, we have the death, uh, the Equipment Awakening, and the Equipment Enhancement. And they, yeah, and yeah, as you guys can see, um, they do match up to the exact, uh, you know, weekly scheduled events that it shows right here. So uh, everything that it says here in terms of weekly scheduled events should be there. Um, and then, uh, yeah, as you can see, it says Saturday and Sunday as well. So these are... Uh, actually uh, allocated with these as well um but basically what i'm trying to get with with this video is that with these things uh, uh taken into account you guys know exactly which days you should be farming what so monday tuesday wednesday boss battle 50 percent half stamina as you as i explained in my cc uh you know breakdown video for when i was reviewing viewer viewer boxes monday tuesday wednesday is when you guys want to be farming boss battle for your mat so on monday tuesday wednesday go to one of these stages you know clear it, obviously spawn your demon clear your demon and then go to this and as you can see like these are the drops you're going to want to get if you, in terms of cc if you guys want to increase your cc fairly quickly man um getting all your characters just a uh, six star awakening through basically all of these boss battle events right um i don't think hell is worth it in my opinion though yeah hell is like a lot less like you know i guess you could like if you are just farming like the six star awakening thing you can but uh, i would recommend just doing extreme farm extreme because it's only going to cost 10 stamina you're going to be able to farm it fairly quickly it's not going to take too much of a, a crazy team and then you're going to have a 13.6 percent chance to drop either of the three um drop materials depending on the boss battle so obviously it'll depend on which stage you go to um but you know depending on the stage you go to um in terms of boss battle you could do boss battles chapter one to six um you'll know exactly what mat you're trying to get and then back to uh, notices here so like uh on thursday and friday um you get 50 percent free stage half stamina so this is the day where you also want to farm free stage um it can either be food or it can be the material you actually need for your awakening as well because there are a few characters that in terms of awakening do need um mats that are required from like a place so like let me go to my uh fraudron here i'm not actually gonna awaken my fraudron but i'm just gonna show you guys what i mean so like these materials right here some of them will say they're uh, only found in free stages like this th this broken horn um can only be found in these two free stage areas and are not going to be able to be in um the boss battle stage so this is going to be the day so thursday friday is when you're going to be wanting to farm this event um because you're actually going to be able to get the broken horn that you need for this awakening uh, slot on fraudulent let's say as an example so it honestly just depends like some of them do come from the boss battles so i'm not too sure if uh, I think this one is boss battle if I'm not mistaken right the woods of warden let's see uh, yeah, so this is the boss battle. So some of them do come from boss battles straight up. Like you can get the drops from here, but most of them will just be coming uh, from boss battle, and then some of them from free stages as well. Like just the very nitty uh, nitty gritty ones. Like this one's only from uh, this one right here. This is like this one's only from free stages, just say. And then like you know, um, even this like dog is only from free stage because uh, you can see what's available for, in terms of the boss battle area. Um, but depending on what you need, obviously that's what you're going to be farming depending on the day. So moving on, if we go to the notices again 
And we go to Saturday, Sunday. Saturday and Sunday, there's nothing has stamina. It's only daily reward events. So um, in your daily task, you're going to see you have a Fort Solar's daily task, a Equipment Enhanced daily task, an Awakening Equipment daily task, and then a Fort Solar's Gold Gain Increase. So that's Saturday and Sunday. So that means all of this from uh, Saturday and Sunday will be included for uh, just the Sunday one as well. So basically on Sunday, take this whole like little area right here and combine it. So um, for Sunday here specifically, we have 50% uh, Fort Solgris stamina. So this means that if you guys want to farm gold, today is the day to farm gold. Um, uh, like you know, and even it's gonna be more efficient farming gold from uh, the half stamina Fort Solgris than it is with the slime event that I explained um, in my slime video, which I'll link in the description. So 50% Fort Solgris. So if you go here, um, it's gonna be Fort Solgris in general. So it doesn't just mean you know farming gold. You can farm books. You can farm um, enhanced potions. Anything you need to farm in Fort Solgris will be 50% stamina. So this is your time where you, if you need books, farm books. If you need enhancement potions, farm enhancement potions. If you need gold, farm gold. This is gonna be the day we're gonna be able to get that done. So, um, you know, definitely make sure to start farming it today, right after you guys watch this video, man. Um, if you are missing out, but today, because because today is Sunday, uh, you definitely wanna take advantage of that. And then also we're gonna have PVP uh, Visal Fight Festival and then Deathmatch and then Deathmatch 50% stamina every other week. So I don't know if uh, every other week Week is including this week that I'm on right now um, when I'm as I'm recording this video um, but as you can basically see guys this PvP and deathmatch thing these are the daily tasks that I have as well alongside the Saturday Sunday ones which they explain so you can see here I have the Visal Fight Festival participation the Fort Soldiers clearing the equipment awakening equipment enhancement and that's basically it on, on in terms of dailies alongside my normal dailies so we have all of them and then even the uh, deathmatch clearing one as well so that's the weekly schedule in Grand Cross and how you guys can be taking advantage of it in terms of boosting your account CC and actually working on your box. Um, I would highly advise you guys go straight to Fort Sogris though, like right after you're done watching this video and just get farming, man, because that's probably what I'm going to be doing personally. Um, literally what you wouldn't, what you want to do, go to any of your stages that you want to farm. So if you go like enhanced dungeon, let's say you need like enhancement potions to level up your characters, you can get that here. If you want to do, you know, if you want to do like evolution stage, depending on the, the, you know, color, you can definitely do any of the colors you want as well. Um, scroll through through um but let's say i need like blue books let's say definitely farm this one right here because you have a chance of getting these six star uh grimoires and that's going to be a lot easier um if you pull one of these on your actual drops than if you were to just you know like convert these uh grimoires up into the uh, six star one so definitely make sure to farm the last stages of each uh because it is going to give you the most benefit for the amount of stamina you put into it and uh, as i said in this video this stage right here um, for farming gold is actually going to be better than the slime stage that I mentioned uh, in my other video, right? So in my other video uh, talking about uh, best f farming stage for gold, I did say that the black fog swamp was the best, but during half stamina, um, it's only going to cost 24 stamina on half soldiers compared to 12 stamina on here. And, you know, instead of getting guaranteed two drops here, the four soldiers one is going to give you two drops and a SSR chest on average, right? So you're going to get one SSR chest and two gold chests on average. Average, uh, when you actually are running the uh, Fort Soldiers have stamina and so because of that it's actually gonna give you more bang for your buck if you are farming this stage right here on half stamina uh, for Sunday so every Sunday farm half stamina gold if need um, and if you need evolution or enhance as well definitely make sure to farm that as well guys because um, that that's like honestly the best thing I can recommend for you guys in terms of increasing your account and uh, working on that as well so that's gonna be it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe as always if you guys want to see more videos like this definitely let me know in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video peace out and have a great rest of your day